Hello, it's Designing Dave from ChannelShirt.com here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to talk about tracking and kerning. Tracking and kerning are two different ways you can manipulate text so it looks a little bit better on the screen. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm just going to make a standard text layer with a white background. And perfect. Now let's move it to the middle of the screen. For example, in this font, when we've typed tracking and kerning, you'll notice the letters seem really close together. So close together, the R and the N could look like an M. Uh, and also, even though all the letters seem to be close together, it seems like we have lots of space between the T and the R. Overall, the font doesn't quite look pleasing to the eye. So, we can change that with tracking and kerning. Tracking, you can find over here in the character section, right over here where it says I uh, set the tracking for the selected characters. Notice the negative 75 was the default on this font when I first started creating it. We pull up this menu, we change it to let's say 0 and voila. Adds a whole bunch of space between all the different characters at once. That's a little bit much though so let's uh, pull that back to about negative 50. That's uh, not quite good so we'll, let's manually go in and we'll change that to negative 40. Okay that's not too bad for what we need. But sure enough, the R and the N are still a little close together, and the T and the R seem really far apart. So now we can use kerning to fix those two. Let's uh, highlight the text tool, and we will put it between the two letters we want to change. We'll come back over here to the character spot, and you'll see uh, the little AV here is the kerning. So if we set this to uh, a negative number, it will pull those letters a little closer together. So negative 50 seems to work fine right there. Let's go between the R and the N. We don't want to go negative, we want to actually put space between those two. Let's try negative uh, or positive 75, way too much. 25, that looks a little better. Let's take a closer look. Uh, much more pleasing to the eye. That's tracking and kerning, a real easy and quick way to make font look a little bit better on any kind of uh, Photoshop you might be using for uh, flyers or even if you're uh, making t-shirts like we do over at ChannelShirt.com. Please visit us over at ChannelShirt and take a look at all of our cool t-shirt designs and other goodies for you. Thanks, have a great day.